Have you ever wondered what it takes to do real engine dyno testing? Hi, I'm Lake, the Motor Oil Geek. If you're curious, hang out and we're gonna show you the inside look into our process for dyno testing motor oil. Step one on a day of dyno testing, go to the gas station. So I've been coming to this same mobile station on the corner of Del Amo and Anza Avenue in Torrance, California and getting gas to go for the dyno wow, at least for over 15 years at this point. It's crazy. And every dyno test takes at least 15 gallons. So right now that's at 5.59 per gallon. Yeah, it adds up pretty quick. So one of the other cool tools we have here on the dyno is called the knockbox. It's basically a microphone setup where you can listen to what's happening inside the engine. There's one sensor on the head, one sensor on the block, so you can hear the valve train noise and you can hear the short block noise. So this channel is the short block. Probably hear that. That's just the pistons moving up and down, going over at top dead center, rocking at bottom dead center again. So we'll turn that down. This is the valve train noise. Valves opening and closing. You know, using Rotella as our flush oil is actually a perfect example of application dictating chemistry. Our application is we need to flush out all of the oil, all the esters and friction modifiers. We got to get that chemistry out of the engine. How are we going to do it? We're going to use that detergent dispersant chemistry from this diesel oil to help wash all of that away. Like we always say, application dictates chemistry and we're putting it to use. Whew. It's a lot of work to do all this. Back and forth to do eight tests. That's eight trips to the gas station, eight flushes for 15 minutes. And that's just with the diesel oil in between. And then you got another 30 minute flush eight more times. Filter change each of those. So that's 16 oil filter changes. Whew. You know, I actually love it. It's a lot of fun. 